So we're going to quickly go through all of the uh, basis questions that we've had on the past six MA265 uh, finals. Most of these are about uh, the basis for the column space and the null space. There's a, a null space. This one's just a, uh, yeah, that one's a column space. Uh, null space, null space, uh, just a basis for R to the N, basis for R to the N, and basis for R to the N. So it's actually ordered uh, quite nicely, even though I didn't mean to do it that way. And yeah, so really there's just, uh, for, for this entire topic, there's just uh, like two factors about basis, uh, sets of basis vectors to know, and then uh, one strategy for finding the uh, basis for a column space, and one strategy for finding the null space, and that's literally it. There's nothing else to this topic, and uh, actually we're starting off with the most brutal question uh, for this entire one, so uh, yeah, sorry about that, but uh, let's get going. So let's uh, we're going to need to find the column space and the null space for this one. So let's row reduce. Let's row reduce this set up here, but not before flipping literally all of the the signs in here. One, three, zero, four, six. One, 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 three. Two, negative one, two, negative four, zero. Okay, let's uh, let's row reduce this guy. And what we're looking for is whichever rows have uh, pivots in them in our echelon form. Because whichever, and I said rows, didn't I? That's that's a huge problem of mine. Um, whichever columns have pivots in them in the echelon form are going to be uh, columns whose set all together will form a basis for our column space. And then we can, uh, we can set our reduced echelon form equal to zero and solve for the vectors composed of the free variables to find uh, the basis for the null space. So let's go and do exactly that. Let's subtract two row twos from row three. We get zero minus three, zero, zero minus six, minus six. So this will become one, two, two. Let's subtract row two from row, sorry, row three from row two, zero, negative one, one. And then let's subtract three row threes from row one. We get a zero here, a negative two here, and a zero here. Uh, let's subtract, let's subtract row one from row two. We get a zero and a one. Um, is that reduced? Yep, that looks like it. we're in uh, reduced echelon form right there. So if I can select the right things, we can rearrange it. We can rearrange it. And there we go. So we see that we have, we have three pivots here in the first three columns. So the basis for our null space should be the set of these three, these three columns. And that looks like a, so that is a true statement right there. Uh, what about our null space? Well, if we set this equal to uh, the zero vector, we can rewrite row, rewrite row one as x1 is equal to 2x4, x2 is equal to negative 2x4 minus 2x5, x3 is equal to negative x4 minus x5. So if we want to make an x4 vector, x4 is equal to 2, oh, sorry, 2, sorry, 2x4 two is equal to uh, x1, minus 2x4 is equal to x2, minus 1 for x3, 1 for itself, and then 0. And then if we want an x5 vector, we will get 0, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. So let's, uh, let's see if we can match this up with any of our answers. So C is most definitely the null space there. So that, that is all good. And E we can E we can answer pretty easily too, because uh, we see that this this column space, uh, the, the basis for our column space given given here that we found, we know that uh, the, the three vectors that uh, we we pulled that from have three pivot positions when we reduce, uh, if we were to put this into a matrix and, we, and reduce it, we would get 
this, which is you know the identity matrix. And that's important because our output space is R3, right? So uh, you know if we put if we put an input vector in here, we will get a, a three by one vector in R3 out. But what does that mean? Well, because we have three pivots, it means that uh, we span all of R3 with our column space. Thus, for any for any vector in R3, we will be consistent. So this is true. Now the thing is, let's take let's take these um, let's take these three and row reduce them. And if we get three pivots, if we get three pivots then uh, we know that it is another valid basis for the column space because the column space is just all of our three. So we have, whoops, we have one, three, four, one, 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 two, well, negative two, one, four. Okay. Let's subtract row, subtract row two from row one. We get zero, two, three, Let's add two row twos to row three. We get zero, three, six. This will become one, two. We can, we can subtract it here and get zero, negative one. Set that to one. Use that to set this to zero. Use this to set that to zero. Use this to set that to zero. Hope you, uh, hope you followed all those steps there. So you can see we have three pivots. We can rearrange this and get the identity matrix. Thus, this thing is a basis for the column space of A which is just all of our three. Now for D, it's incorrect because what they're doing here is they're 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 flipping like half of the signs for the column space. Sorry, for the, for the null space that we did solve for. They just flipped half the signs and got here, which is, uh, which is no good. That, that doesn't work. Yeah, this is, this is not how you solve for the null space. Uh, so no, that one is false. Nine, let's find a basis for the null space of A. More row reduction time. So one, two, 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 three, two, three, one, three, three, one, two, two, two. Let's subtract row, uh, row three from row two. Minus three here is zero, minus one is one, minus two is one, minus two is negative one, minus two, we get one. Let's subtract two row twos from row one. That gives us zero, zero, four, zero. Then let's subtract um, minus 12, negative 10. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's subtract four row, uh, four row, okay, four row ones. No, three row ones from row three. That gives us a zero here and a negative 10 there. Let's subtract row uh, two from row three. We get a zero, a one, a negative nine, and a one. Let's add row, ugh, not add. Subtract row three from row two. We get zero, eight, two, and there we go. Okay, we're in reduced echelon form. We can solve for our null space. Setting all of this equal to zero, we see that x1 is equal to negative 4x3, x2 is equal to negative 8x, not x3, x4, 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 negative 8x4 minus 2x5, and x3 is equal to 9x4 minus x5. And so if we're making uh, vectors out of these, we're gonna get exactly this, a, because uh, you know if we're making an x4 vector for that free variable, we'll have negative 4 for the x1 position, negative 8 for the x2 position, 9 for the x3 position, 1 for the x4 position because it's equal to uh, 1 of itself and 0 x5s. And for x5, we, we just get 0, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. Oh, which is, ooh, fun. Not at all. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I... Did I just do my, did I just, did I just add wrong? Yeah, I think, I think I did. I think we had, and please go double check me on this, because <laughs> uh, right here, I think we had a one, and I subtracted, I was subtracting row three from it. I should have gotten a zero, but I actually added one and got, got a two. So hopefully that didn't throw you off there. 
Um, A is the correct answer. I've done this. I've done this test enough times to remember that. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, that, that's that's about it. Ugh, that's that's a little annoying. Sorry about that. Nineteen. Determine a basis for the set spanned by these three vectors. So if we smash them all into a matrix and row reduce them, whichever whichever uh, columns have pivots in them, we'll then go choose uh, that numbered column up here, make a set out of all those, and we'll have our basis for the set. One, two, three, three, six, nine, one, three, five, five, eleven, seventeen, two, seven, twelve, two, zero, zero. Okay, I've written this so sloppily, I'm probably going to get it wrong as a uh, result. Okay, let's subtract two row ones from row two. We get zero, zero, one, one, three, minus four. That simplified nicely. Let's subtract, let's subtract, hmm. What, let's subtract row two from row one. We'll get zero, four, negative one, and six. Then let's subtract three, uh, three row ones from row three. That'll give us a zero, zero, five minus eight gives us nine, plus three gives us fifteen, and did I say plus eight? Sorry, I'm starting to go a little insane here. Hopefully, I'm <laughs> reducing correctly. I subtracted three. I subtracted three. I'm just gonna walk back to the beginning of this row. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so we get we get a zero zero. Yeah, I did make a mistake. Look at that. We're not subtracting eight. We're subtracting twelve, and so we end up with a five here. Ooh, good, good catch me. Uh, then a fifteen here, and we're subtracting eighteen. Subtracting. Yeah, subtracting 18, so minus 18. Okay, let's subtract five row five row twos from row three. That gives us a zero, zero, uh, another zero. And subtracting five, so we are adding 20 here. That gives us a two. We can reduce that down to a one and use that to set both of these equal to zero. And there we go. We know which, which are our pivots, uh, our pivot columns. We have a pivot in row one, sorry, column one, column three, and column six. So E is our correct answer uh, in choosing, choosing our pivot columns there. Okay, six, let's find a basis for the null space of A. Let's hope I don't make a row reduction mistake like I did earlier. Minus three, six, Minus one, minus four, one, negative two, two, three, two, negative four, five, seven. Okay, let's subtract two row twos from row three. We get a zero, zero. Minus four gives us one, minus six gives us one. That can set this to zero, one, and this to zero, negative three. That means that this row can become one negative two, zero, one, which we can use to set this row to all zeros. And there we go, there's our reduced, there's our reduced echelon form. We see that x2 is free and x4 is free. And so if we set everything to zero and move these guys over to the other side, we see that x1 is equal to 2x2 minus x4 and x3 is equal to minus x4. So our vectors here, if we're making an x2 vector, uh, two x2s is equal to x1, uh, then zero, uh, one x2 is equal to uh, itself, and x3 is not dependent on x2, and neither is x4. Then for an x4 vector, negative 1x4 is equal to x1, 0x4 is equal to x2, 
uh, negative one x4 is equal to x3, and then x4 is equal to one, one of itself. And almost had a little um, mental breakdown there, but c is our correct answer. It's still, it's still a basis for the null space if you multiply any of these vectors uh, by negative one, or really any, any constant, any non-zero constant at all. So they just took this guy uh, and multiplied it by negative one and got, and got this vector. But that's still, that's still valid for us. Six, we have A, let's find the basis for the null space. Same old, same old row reduction, blah, blah, blah. One, zero, three, zero, negative one. I'll change this to one, negative one, one, zero. And three, negative one, three, negative one, seven, zero. Okay, subtracting row one from row two, we get that. I'll switch the signs there. Uh, let's, let's add row Let's add row two to row three, we get zero and nine, or one, zero, three, zero, which we can use row one to set to all zeros. And there we go, we see that x4 is free, and it's not dependent on x1, x2, or x3, and that x3 is free, and it is uh, dependent on, dependent on x1 and x2. So x1 is like equal to negative 3 x3, negative 2 x3 is equal to x2, x3 is equal to 1 of itself, and 0 x4s. And since x4 is only dependent on itself, it's only equal to it itself here, uh, we get 0, 0, 0, 1. So there's our answer, answer choice A. 12, let's find all real numbers A such that the vectors form a basis for R3, the real vector space of all n by one real vectors. I'm pretty sure that this is a typo here. This should be three by one real vectors, uh, but it, that, doesn't, that doesn't particularly matter. So what, what can we do here? Let's uh, make this into a matrix. A, A, one, 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 two, three, two, three, one. Okay, well, actually, do we need to do anything? Do we need to do anything to solve this problem? Because we know uh, that two, that two, that two, uh, not two, three vectors are uh, uh, form a basis for R three if and only if they are all linearly independent. What if a? What if a is equal to one? Well, if a is equal to one, we can use row one to set row two to zeros. And thus, we're only going to get two pivots when we row reduce this. There's no way to get a pivot in that row of all zeros. And as a result, this uh, vector, this set of vectors here, cannot be a basis. And so a not equal to 1 uh, should, should do it. Yeah, if we, set, if we set these to a and set these to 1, 1, 1, let's see if we can row reduce that, row reduce this matrix and to... Uh, get the get the same result out of it. Let's subtract two row twos from row three. We get zero, one, negative one. Let's subtract row two from sorry row three from row two. We get zero two. And then uh, and then what? Hmm. Well, we would like to have we would like to have another pivot here. To rearrange things a little bit. Okay, so what what are the cases where uh, we don't where we don't have a pivot? Uh, well, we can just we can just check we can just check these answer choices here. So we already know that if a is equal to I don't know. Oh, whoops, I need to redo. If a is equal to if a is equal to one, we have issues, and that that is our answer. We're just trying to uh, get a little more intuition about about how we could have solved this, uh, you know, fully. Um, so if a is equal to one, then where where do our issues come up here? Well, let's subtract let's subtract uh, row two from row three. We get zero, two, and then there we go. We see that we have we see that we have a uh, row that is exactly the same as another row, so we can use row one to set row three equal to zero. Okay, but if a, if a is not equal to one, 
let's say a is equal to 2, 2, 2, 1, then uh, no matter what we do, these two, these two vectors, um, if, we, if we use row 1 and row 2 to set both these to 0, what we get here will not be 0, and that'll be true for all other values of a. So, sorry for making a little extra work there. I personally absolutely hate these questions um, but where we have unknown values running around. I hate them, hate them, hate them. Um, but a lot of the time you can just look and uh, see the answer like we, like we did there. Oh great, yet another one. So determine the values of t such that the following vectors form a basis of R3. So we can find one of these values by inspection. Uh, let's see, we have negative 1, negative 1, and we have 2, 2, 2 here. So if row 1 is a multiple of row 3, in this case uh, negative 2 times row 1 equals row 3, then we're going to have issues and our vectors will not be a basis for our 3. So if t is equal to negative 1, if t is equal to negative 1, then we'll be able to use row 1 to set row 3 equal to 0, and that's, uh, that will make, make sure that our, our vectors cannot form a basis. So that leaves us with uh, three answer choices, although actually it leaves us with two because this is saying that t is equal to one is a value of t such that our vectors form a basis, which we just uh, disproved. So let's just go and test t is equal to two and negative two. Let's make a matrix. So negative one, negative one, I'll start with two, negative two, two, negative three, two, two, two. And then we'll copy this over and replace this guy with a negative 2, and this guy with a negative 2. And I'll go switch all these signs to make it a little uh, more bearable. OK. Um, I don't know. Let's start reducing Let's start reducing this one first. It looks a little, looks a little nicer. Let's subtract two row 1s from row 2. We get 0, 0, negative 1, which we can set to 1 and use to set both of these to 0. And then, well, that's too bad. We can use row 1 to set row 3 to 0. So this guy. This guy uh, is this guy is a value for which t is not a uh, not a basis. Sorry, for which these three vectors are not a basis for R three. So t is equal to t is equal to negative two and two should be our answer there. Let's make sure that when t is equal to two, we can reduce things down and get three pivot positions. Um, so let's let's add two row ones to row two. We get zero. 4 and minus 7. Let's subtract two row 1s from row 3. 0, 0, 6. We can make this a 1 and set both of these to 0 and make this a 1 and make this a 0. There's our, ident there's our identity matrix uh, with three pivots and thus those vectors form a basis for our 3. I'm saying thus a lot in this video, I just realized. That would annoy me, sorry. Uh, 11, determine all the values of c such that the following vectors form a basis for R3. Thank God we only have one c here. Um, that's, that's always a good sign. And this is another one we can just answer by uh, inspection. So what if c is, equal to full, uh, c is equal to 2? Well, if we have a 2 here, then half of this vector is just equal uh, to this vector. And, and so this vector lies on the span of this vector, and as a result, uh, we're only going to get, the, the span of these three vectors will only give us a plane in R3, and since we don't span R3, we cannot form a basis for R3 with these three vectors. And so C not equal to 2 uh, should do it. You can go test all the other values of C that you want, and you'll see that it will always reduce to the identity matrix. Okay, kind of sort of really dislike some of these questions, but other ones, like the ones where you can just look and uh, check for answers, that's, that's really nice. Um, and whatever you do, if you get hit with a problem like this where you have unknown variables in a different row and column, don't, don't, try, to, don't try to row reduce it. It's a, it's a losing battle. Um, plug in answer choices. Usually it'll be like this, and there is one that you can just see, and that'll leave you with uh, two or three correct, two or three potential correct answers, and you can just go through and 
uh, you know, fig figure it out, figure it out that way. Just don't make yourself try to row reduce this thing because I've I've done it a couple times, and it doesn't actually tell you that much. But that's that's about it. Rambling, I'm rambling at this point. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. If this was something that uh, you needed some review on.